Hello class! This lesson, I would like to share with you a video tutorial about adding a, a table to our HTML page. So, I'll just make use of the old file I have used already in our previous demonstration. So, we have here index. I will be opening it with a Google Chrome browser. And I'll be editing it using the notepad. Uh, text editor okay so going back with our old file so we had already added the basic html tags here and this is already the output at this time i would just like to add a table okay so i think we are ready to add more content to our page so i'll just be before i add demonstrate to you how to add the table tag we first have to put an hr tag that is to add a horizontal line to our page to separate it from the next section so we will be needing many tags in order to come up with a table so first is we have the table tag so we have to start adding a table with the beginning and the closing tag of a table tag so, in a table tag, we can have a heading, we can have a row, and we have we can have a table data. So, the next thing we are to do is to add a heading that is through the use of th tag. So, th means table heading. So, suppose I would like to add my friend's directory. Okay, so I'll put here a heading which needs to be my friend's directory. Then close the heading by closing the th tag. To add a row inside the table, we are to use tr tag. Beginning and closing. So to add a content in our in our row, we have to use td tag or the what we call table data tag. Okay, so in between the beginning and closing tag of the, the tr tag, we are to add td tag. So, it will enable us to add a cell inside the table row or the what we call column. Okay, so to add the first data, suppose I would like to add the name of my friend. And in the second the data, I will add their uh, landline or phone number, something like that. So, suppose I would like to name my first friend as uh, Romel C. Sun. Shan. Okay, so uh, this is already the complete set of making a table. So let's see how it looks like. Let's save the file by clicking Control S or clicking File then Save. Then here we just have to reload the file and see how it looks like. So this is already the result of this code. Okay, so I don't think it looks like a table because it don't have any border. So we don't have any a hint whether it is a table or not okay so later we will be adding border but let's first add more data to the table so here i would like to add another content okay so to do that we are to add dd tag so i would like to add here the phone number of jamel so suppose three one five three four five four suppose so let's close the cell Control s to save the change then Control r here in the browser to reload okay so this is already the result so john mel shan then the phone number okay so if i want to add more or if you want to add more rows or a list of friends just have to do the same thing you just have to add tr or inside the tr you have to contain it with td tag or you can just copy this okay so you just have to copy then paste then we'll just have to change the name here okay so like suppose i want to add more friends anna lisa the nor suppose the number is 8994 okay then add more paste 
hindi sa nobleza sa post. Okay, so 3 and 5, uh, 7, 8, 9. 3, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so control S to save the change. Then control R here to reload. So this is already the updated data. So if you want to add a border or to show that it is a table, you can add a border attribute to the table. So let's go back to the beginning part of the table. This is it. Then we are to just add a border attribute. Then specify the number of a border or the width of the border. Let's say 1. Control S to save the change. Then Control R to reload. Okay, so this is already the result of this code. So to add more uh, enhancement to our table, we would like to merge the two columns here for the uh, heading. Okay, so I want that my friend's directory will be f these two columns here in the heading will be filled up with this heading. So to do that, we are to go back to the table heading tag, then add an attribute. So, since we want to merge the column here, the two columns, we are to use call span. If it is a row, if we want to merge two rows, we, it's, it will become a row span. Okay, so at this time, we'll use call span. That means column span. Okay, how many columns you want to merge? So, we are to specify the number of columns. So, since we have here two columns, just have to type here two. Okay, then save then control r so this is already the result okay so my friends directory is already merged next so we want that the width of the table be maximized or we want that the, the the width here of this browser be maximized okay so to do the thing we are to add another attribute so before adding another attribute we have to have a space here from the first value of our attribute so we just have to type uh, style. This is already CSS, but I will introduce in some lessons, in the next lessons, the use of CSS tags. So we have here style, then specify the particular attribute you want to add, then let's say 100%. Okay, close it. Control S to save the change, then go back here in the browser. Control R to reload. So this is already the width of the table. So that means whatever is the width of the web browser, that will also be the width of the table. So if I'll maximize this one, the table will also be maximized. Okay, so like this. So if you want to change the width of the border into 50, or will not really maximize Okay, the, the width of the browser just have to change the width here. Then control S to save the change. Control R. So the width of the table will only be 50% of the width of the browser window. Okay, but we want it 100. That's just a sample. Okay, so let's refresh. Okay, so suppose you want to add a background color to the data in the table. We can do that by adding bg color at that particular uh, element of a table like suppose uh, in the heading okay so we just have to add here another attribute in the beginning tag of the th tag but before we do that we first have to have a space one character so type bg color that means background color of that heading equals specify the background of the heading like suppose i want it black but of course, I have to match the the color of the background to the color of the text. If my background will be black and the text is black, the text will not be visible. So I'll add here color attribute. The color here is the color of the text. Okay, so I want the black background to be in white or the white text to be in the black background. So that's it. Control S to save, then Control R to reload. Oh, so this is already the result. Okay, so I guess I have a problem with the uh, background color and the text color. So I'll just go back to its original uh, colors. So anyway, I just 
I will not just I will not apply the black background. BG color. Repeat. BG color. Cross. So let's say you want to add uh, blue. Okay. Save. Then Control R. So this is how the background color affects or the BG color affects the result of our table. So maybe I'll change the color into white. Control S, Control R. So this is already the effect of the BG color. So that's also what you're to do if you want to apply colors to the background of your data. Like suppose I want to apply color here to draw Melshan uh, row or data or cell. You just have to add here BG color equals. Suppose I want to add a color yellow, then type the name of the color. Or you can actually use hexadecimal color or RGB color if you know how to use those codes. Then save, then control R, then this is already the result. Okay, so you can do the same thing in applying the rest of the table data there. Okay, so that's about adding of a table to our web page. If we want to add more rows here, or suppose I want to add another row in the table, I just have to add another TD here in every TR. Okay, so if I want to add their birthday, so I can just add another set of TD. TD, okay, their birthday, like suppose August 23, 1990. Closing tag. Okay, that's also what I am to do with the rest of the records of my friends. So, I'll add their birthday here. Okay, suppose September 11, 1991. Okay, I want to add more. Let's see. December 24, 1995. Control S to save the change. Then Control R. So this is already the result. So the, their birthday is added here at the third column. Okay, so what about the table heading here? So we have to just adjust also the table call span. Let's make it 30 to merge the three columns. Control S to save the change. Then Control R to reload. So this is already the result. Okay. So, if you want to add the same background to the first, okay, so to the first, uh, with this column of your data, you just have to add, copy paste, no, the PD color, or I mean the, the BG color. Then, Control S, to so save the change, Control R. Okay, so you just have to change the color of the background if you want, but make sure to achieve harmony. Okay, so harmony means the colors that you are to apply must be contrasting color with the text. So the background that must be at high contrast with the text. So if your background is black, then the text will be white. If the any color will do, okay, that you have to just match the light color to the dark color. Okay, so that's about the adding of our table. Thank you. I hope you've learned. Just free to ask question in our fb page if you have more things to know or if you have more queries about this lesson yes, everyone.